thesmartlocal.com The space is so small and I gotta clean my own shit, my own pee to be exact. Singapore is a safe country. Wow, super safe eh. Go out middle of the night, 3-4 o'clock also nobody care. Even if I hang out late at night, I wouldn't be scared to go home lah. Do you guys have a bomb shelter at home? Yes. Mm. What do you currently use it for? Storeroom. Yes. Storeroom ah. <laughs> <laughs> They're smelly because a lot of shoes. Luggage. Yes, luggage. Shampoo. With your current bomb shelter now right, do you think if there's an emergency, you'll be able to survive? <laughs> my family got like five people, then like you cannot go inside as well. Same man. But I think right, my family can live in our bomb shelter. Eh. Cause like got mahjong table, <laughs> got mahjong, got food, my snacks, and got wine. Oh, but them hot and them smelly, oh. Yeah. Like, like, we'll suffer. Eh, but inside can fix fans, Got plug. Got fan, Oh, got plug. Got my house, got plug. Bomb shelter got plug. Got plug. People bomb you already, you still <laughs> put in the plug. Do you know that Total Defense Day is coming up? Oh my god, I feel like something bad is coming. One of them is civil defense. Do you know what civil defense? Uh, defense among the people. It's to ensure Singaporeans know what to do in times of emergency. Therefore, in this episode of Singapore, don't Trying, make me stay in my bomb shelter. We are going to attempt the 24-hour bomb shelter challenge. Oh my. Wait, so we're gonna stay in our own bomb shelter? Yes. Huh? Jeez! <laughs> One day that. <laughs> this is it, Ellie! <laughs> Let's prepare for war. Come, come, come. <laughs> How do you feel right now? A little bit nervous. I don't know, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and sleep as much as I can. I think that's my talent. Who do you think will fail? Who else but Nick? <laughs> <laughs> I think Caitlyn will lose. Xenia, I'm not so sure but I'm gonna win. I'm definitely gonna win. I mean, I'm super competitive. Nick and Caitlyn, you guys going down! <laughs> so you only have 3 minutes to take anything you want. The 3 minutes starts now! I'm gonna take my feet, my feet. Excuse me! <laughs> I need this to clean my face. Fan, fan. Mini Coca! Oh, you're high tea lao, high tea lao. I'm gonna have a party inside. Wow! Ah, whatever can, I just take it first. I'll see whether I will eat it. I think I'm ready. Eh. You sure? Let's do it. Wow! <laughs> Bro, <huh? laughs> What the fuck? Ah? Shit, I was gonna bring this. Oh, jeez. Indian water is the most important thing. Huh? Oh my god! Hi, sir! Sir, you gotta go in! I'm gonna leave with this <laughs> cup of water. Ali, just a jam. Bye bye! I wanted to bring pillow. Give Good me luck. my pillow! Bye bye! <laughs> bye! It has started. The horrors. I have so many things I forgot to bring in. Uh, it's pillow and bolster because my strategy was to slip it off. I've got my mini table up here. Ta da! I've got a stool. Specking the stuff, and then I realized the most stupid thing ever. My bucket got hole. <laughs> like, can you see the crack? Oh my god! Instead of lounging on my sofa or bed, I'll be in a bomb shelter eating my breakfast without chopsticks. <laughs> With chopsticks. Meanwhile. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, smells super great! Oh, if I cannot open, I cannot eat. Come on. Oh. Alright, ladies, it's time for our Zumba workout. Let's go. And up and down. And lift. And right, let's sing it, let's sing it. Five minutes later. Really, I'm feeling a bit like hated and uh, I really think I just need to lie down. I'm losing, I'm losing a lot of energy. And swing it, and swing it, and swing it, and swing it. This is how I stretch my legs there. Eh? <sighs> 
Hi, I just woke up from my nap. It was a really good nap, surprisingly, and I'm so proud of myself. Let me show you what my pillow is made of, okay? I am creative. I am resourceful. I can do this! What's cooking good looking? I'm about to eat my lunch, which is an instant hot pot. Life cannot get better than this. I'm kind of an instant gratification monkey. So I took my good stuff first and I probably have nothing to eat later for dinner, but never mind. Enjoy now, regret later. I'm not doing too well right now. I don't have like enough food or water. I truly hope that nobody has to do this and that we will never have a need for this bomb shelter. Time check, 5.30! I think I'm going very strong. I think I will win the challenge. Uh, oh my goodness, why open the up? This is my husband. Are you still breathing? You don't listen to me, cannot open Chinese the Chinese New Year's or not? Cannot open, no! Not New Year already. Bye-bye. Okay, okay, okay. Bye. See you. Remember the brief. Oh. I don't know. I don't know how to pee because I forgot my bucket. So I only have plastic bags. It's just that how do you execute it? Do I stand up or do I squat? Jeez, how do you aim? Oh. I'm really lacking this social emotional connection and I'm starting to talk to myself way more than I really should. Gotta prepare for the war outside. Get ready to fight. I like to be. What are your options, Sergeant Fuzzle Words? Hello. Hello. This is the best thing ever because you don't need electricity or fire to even cook it. All you need is a cup of cold water. I bought this long time ago. Hey, wait, when, when's, when's the expiry date? Ah? Okay, okay, here got the manufactured date. 2nd January 2018. You can keep it for 260 days. What? It's expired! <laughs> what? Uh, I got nothing to eat! The time now is um, 9.58, which means in two minutes, I have to turn off the lights and not use my Wi-Fi anymore. This is gonna be hard. I guess I'm ready because I turned up my bed and I prepared the lights. It's just I don't know what to do. I guess I'll try to sleep. It's 10 p.m. now, so goodbye guys. I hope I don't get too emotional because as the night goes by, I don't know man. <sighs> I miss my cat, I miss my husband. A night without them, very hard. Lah. I just woke up because my whole body was aching or sleeping and just one minute before I started recording, I was thinking about just walking out of here. I still am thinking about it. I've been trying to sleep, but it's not working. I'm sweating buckets. It's damn hot. It's a struggle. Sorry guys. I just don't think I can thank until the morning. I. I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> I feel like I try my best. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I give up. I didn't vlog um, from like 11 p.m. onwards until now. I, I knock out. I think sleep is more important because of my fever. It's getting better, thank God. I'll try to vlog the next hour if I don't kill. So yeah, see you later. Bye. Time check, 9 a.m. Yay! It's time to get out. Freedom. Oh my goodness, freedom. Oh my god, it's so it's so cooling. Oh my goodness, look at the view. I've never seen so much view. Torturous. Now I open my bomb shelter. A bit phobia, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I swear, I cannot see my bomb shelter. Like, it's mm. never be the same again. Eh. It's damn stuffy and damn smelly. <laughs> my pee was just there. At first, uh, when I pee, right, you hear the plastic bag sound. So it's like. Turu, turu, turu. Can you hear the sounds? At the end, right? The sound is. <laughs> I stepped on my own pee because I never. <laughs> Holy shit, my plastic bag leaked. I don't know, there's like water on the floor and I stepped on it. I don't know what the 
that is. You can see it's all wet on the outside of the previous plastic bag. The space is so small and I gotta clean my own shit, my own pee to be exact. Look at how much water there is. Wow, it spread all the way there. What I did in the beginning was no a bit, play with food, watch Netflix. Towards the end, I know that freedom is coming. Mm. It's like what well, happiness like that. When I actually gave up, I can't remember exactly how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> that very second that I gave up, right? I can only remember myself saying these two sentences. I think I'm done here. I cannot do this anymore. I need mm. to get out. And and that was how overwhelmed I felt with my emotions. I just cannot explain to you how I feel. It was just, I need to get out of here. So since it's in the morning and I'm back here, I just I just want to rationalize my emotions. I just feel like yesterday from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. were everything that I'm scared of. So number one, it is in the dark. Number two, you're confined alone. Number three, you can't talk to anyone else. And I, I seriously, seriously thought about just going the old school way, SMS or call, but then I overestimated myself. I thought like, hey, I can do without. I want the full experience, you know. Ah, then here's what you get. A crying senior telling you that like, she feels a lot and she, it just swallows you up, you know. To the point where you can't think of anything but like, I, I really need to get out of here. It's surprising because if ever something happened and I have all my family here, right, I would feel less of that. Then I realise how weak I am and how, how my determination is dependent on other things, not just my thirst for life, you know. <laughs> Do you think we take our bomb shelters for granted? Yes. Awesome. We are just treating it as a storeroom. It's not like mm. a bomb shelter at all. My storeroom got nothing that I can use to survive on it. So like, I think all those guts go. I think we definitely can con Mari <laughs> the storeroom. Learn from uh, our Fauzi, dearest Fauzi. There are actionable steps that are still reasonable. Like for example, the canned food that kind. So mm. instead of storing it in the kitchen, you just store it in the storeroom. Oh, so yeah. in case something happens, is that if not, it's very easy to just go to the storeroom and take it. What I will start doing now is to put like Panadol inside the bomb shelter just mm. in case we well, already touched wood. Singapore hit by a wall. Mm. Then at least the bomb shelter got Panadol, got first aid box prepared. Did you learn anything about yourself from this experience? I learned that I love my family a lot. I was just like thinking about them. Like you can kind of hear them all the time. I, I want to talk to them but I just cannot all. Then I feel like this connection needs to be there. I think for me, I will be quite calm in a way. I, I like to plan things a bit. I learned that I am a more emotional person than a logical thinker, judging from how I arranged my food and how I decided to, you know, just give up. I feel like it's not strong enough here. I feel like all of us, especially Singaporeans, you have to realise that these kind of things, they might just happen and you wouldn't know it, you know? It's just suddenly one day, ta. I mean, we had three minutes, but three minutes wasn't enough. You guys can start now, right? I mean, it's not a challenge, yeah. so you should pack up your bomb shelter. If you need Fauzi, Fauzi will be at your house. Oh, my dad, my dad is quite funny. He say, actually, uh, if you need bomb shelter at storeroom, fun father, let's <laughs> go. So, if you don't want the police to catch you, you better go and tidy up. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Singaporeans Try. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And you can watch our other videos over there. Bye! Pack your bow shelter! Fufu water! If not, I'm going to